the channel kicking it back to some more Dragon Ball Fighters content. I know we just uploaded some fighters yesterday, and this is going to be a little bit of a different video. I know I used to do some beginner's combo guides, and this isn't what this is going to be. Today, we're actually going to be talking about Nappa. I don't know. I've, I'm, I've been, I'm in a good mood to play some fighters, but not that kind of a way because I've been playing a little off today. So we're going to talk about Nappa. And what I mean by talking about Nappa is Nappa is top tier and you should stop sleeping on him. If you sleep on this character right here, he's going to take you, flip you on your head, make you do a 360, kick you into the dirt, pick you up out of the dirt, spin you again, and throw you into the trash. And we're going to go ahead and talk about a lot of the things that makes Nappa as strong as he is how I feel he is as strong as he is and why I believe he's deserving of being much higher praise and if you watched my tier list I put him in top 10 as a really big hot take that might not be a hot take you might see my you might see where I'm coming from after this so without further ado let's get into it first off let's talk about his buttons like bro look at that look at this 2m look at this 2m this thing is massive. It's a little on the slower side, but this thing is massive, and it's very good with, like, Oki. If you do something like this, step back. Bro, look at this Oki. You can just hang back. Look, like, look, look how far he is hitting. This is a big-ass button. This is fast as shit. This is fast as hell. And it being an, it's not in low, this right here. This, this thing is insane. Not only that, Nappa is also tied... With a low hitting 5L that you could just come up here, boop, boop, bop, boop, bop, bop. You know, you you can make his block his block strings like really crazy. And you can even go into a low into an overhead cross up. Like starting characters that have starting um, uh, lows in their combos, which is why one of the reasons why Lab Code is as crazy as she is, are really potent because there there's so much that you could do to get your opponent to like think about what you are doing and Nappa is is no exception because look at this fucking JM dude this this, this button look at this button this button is massive I, I can you can even get it from as close to here or or like that this button is like his golden button you you can use the JH but I it, it's got a little bit of a wider hitbox to it but I, if you're going for cross-ups, this JM is your bread and butter. I will admit, out of all the buttons that Nappa has, his 5L, his aerial 5L is is not that great. Uh, you're never, like, most of the time, until you're doing combos, don't click this button in neutral. It's really not all that great because of its uh because of its high hitbox, which leaves, like, the rest, like, the lower part of Nappa as, like, a giant hurt box. Like, it's really not that good of a button. That's the only button that you should avoid. And then... <laughs> The bread and butter of a Nappa player, dude. Like, I'm over here. This 5H rivals Vegito's 5M. It's a little slower, but look at this. Look at this. You could just round start. Bop. And the corner carry that you can get off a of Nappa. Now, I'm not good with rejumps. I'm practicing them, but I'm not good with them yet. But you can do some shit like this. Oh, I messed it up. But you see what I'm seeing? Do you, do you see how far we got to the corner? Like, the corner is right here. If I would have actually extended that a little bit further and didn't actually drop it and continued off of trunks, um, like, he would have been, you would have went from one corner all the way to the other. Like, that's how strong Nappa, Nappa's corner carry is just for this button alone. And then this. This is, this thing, while, okay, so, as you can see here with him clapping like this, he only has the hitbox on the top, but and the rest of his his body is is low, you know, like it's open. But this thing, it covers the front, the back, and it's massive. This thing is massive. Um, his key blasts are actually a lot better than a lot of people give credit for. You can do some shit like this, you know, maybe for like a little bit of Oki. You know, you can you can do like a little float up, like to halt his momentum. Uh, this is actually this actually beats key blast, and actually has priority over smaller key blast. I think the only thing that it doesn't have priority over, obviously, is like 21's key blast or Broly's key blast. But this reflects key blast, and then the rest of it has priority. The rest of it has priority unless it's like Broly or 21's. Uh, and then, bro, I'm not even gonna talk about this. 
I'm not even going to talk about this. You, you all know. You all know the Cybermen. You all know the Cybermen. Look at him go. Look, 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 look. That's my boy. That's my son right there. In, in Fighters, that's my son. That Cyberman right there, EX Cyberman, cannot be harmed by anything but a physical attack. You have to punch this little dude in the face. Um, you can still use the the medium one for... Uh, you can still use the medium one for neutral and stuff. I believe it's... I believe it is immune. Uh, don't don't quote me on this. I believe it is immune to like assists and stuff still, except for like beams, physical hitting stuff. Uh, it's a little easier to get rid of. But this guy here, he's just immune to everything else. So this this is your go-to Cyberman. Um, a lot of people like to use the, the the light one for like some combos and stuff, um, which you can easily experiment with. Like the light the light one's still pretty good. And one of the best parts about the uh, this one, you can actually click another button to program the Cyberman. So now I, I made it so all he does is spit until until he uh, until he's done. Now he's gonna come out and all he's gonna do is a slash. And it all depends too on how many times you click the button. So yeah, it all depends on how many times that you click the button. So like if I if you call the Cyberman and you press the light like three times, like I know it's kind of mashing it there. One, two, three, and he's done. And then you can do the same thing. One, two, three. And it'll come out. One, two, three. And then he's done. You can only do a max of three. You can even go... One. Slice. Medium. He's done. Like, you you can get a little cheeky with it. Like, especially if you have certain setups that you want to go for, for, like, uh, your restands and stuff. Uh, amazing. Amazing. And now let's actually talk about the restands. So one of, one of the biggest things with Nappa is his restands. I have something simple like this. I didn't get the... Hold on. And you see that? So I, I messed it up just a little bit, but you saw how the uh, the counter reset. He got immediately put into the explosion. It reset him. It restood him into the explosion. So if, you're, if your opponent is still guarding, if they're holding back... They're, they're going to come out blocking before the, the explosion hits. But you can do like a super dash real quick and get your pressure immediately going and try and open them up. It what, That's one of the Napa's like biggest strengths. And what I just did, what I just did right here, this is the easiest thing to do in the world. So let, let's, let's take the character. Let's do... So we're going to have him on... Guard first only. So this will show you. So he's on guard first. He's going to block that. And then you could just do like a quick super dash after that to continue your pressure. If they keep blocking you, you could just bounce off of them and do that. This button, dude, this, this JM is fucking absurd. And you could just keep extending your pressure. And that'll allow you to continue your combos. That's a very, very, very bare bones restand that anyone can do. It's really not that hard. So Nappa players take note, or people who are trying to learn how to play Nappa take note. That restand is is by far the one of the easiest things to do in this game. And then one of my favorite things to do is just like a cheeky little reset. So right there, that's another restand that you could do. Like you don't have to do the Dragon Rush, um, and you could use the Blue Simon for it. You don't even have to utilize that. But that also works as a reset because if they if they actually get hit with this first, if you're if you if you time it just right and actually use the the Blazing Storm, you can, you'll send them up. They'll tech up, and you could just cover them with this, and then continue your pressure and restart your uh your your reset. And continue your pressure to do more damage. Like, Nappa is, like, one of the craziest two-touch characters in this game. If you let Nappa do whatever the hell he wants to you, you're going to get run over. Pretty much, if you could see here, a lot of the stuff that I've showed you guys with Nappa, this is all insanely strong. His neutral is not as weak as a lot of players like to, uh, to say. 
And I don't have the skills, but you can also do some cheeky stuff with this. Uh, I'm still practicing that stuff. You can do some really, really cheeky stuff with that if they block it and you're in sparking. Um, there's so much to this character that I feel is underexplored. And you want to know why? I want you to look at this character in the face and tell me he's not ugly. People aren't going to pick pe uh, characters like Merge Zamasu or uh, Goku Black or, hell, the top tiers, Vegito, Gogeta. They look cool. No one's picking Nappa because he's ugly. When I when I have done everything that I can to show you that this character is top tier. This character is very, very insanely strong, and I think people should stop sleeping on him. That's pretty much just the point of this video. I just wanted to talk about Nappa real quick. This will be a double upload day, so look forward to later. Um, but yeah, Nappa, very strong, very strong character. If you are sleeping on this character, I highly recommend you don't. And you at least start labbing Nappa against him to try and figure out the stuff. Or just pick up and play him and enjoy just popping this out and just standing around. Bro, the panic that this that this that little Cyberman just instills in people just, oh, it makes my heart flutter. <laughs> well, that'll wrap it up for me on this one, guys. Hopefully this video was informative for you and maybe even sparked your interest in wanting to play Nappa. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.